Hey guys, Dr. Kilfoyle here. Today we're going to be talking about minimally invasive bunion surgery. We have a lot of different uh, patients who are coming to us and they're asking about the lapoplasty, the lapofuse, they're asking about minimally invasive procedures, and I want to just kind of go through what my favorite procedure is, and that is the minimally invasive surgery done with the Pro Step by Wright Medical. I have uh, a couple of the pieces of equipment here, some of the hardware that I typically use, and I just want to kind of go with go over what I usually say to a patient when I'm trying to convince them that the minimally invasive way is actually the best way possible. In a lot of situations, you can't do the minimally invasive way, especially if the bunion is especially severe. If the intermeditarsal angle is over 15 degrees, you know, a lawyer would be able to skewer you if you did a distal metatarsal osteotomy. What do I mean by distal metatarsal osteotomy? So here's a, my foot model. So this bone right here is called the, the metatarsal. When put, somebody has a bunion, the bun the, these two bones are separated like that. The goal is to get the metatarsal head closer to the second metatarsal head. If it's extremely big angle like that, if you just do a cut at the distal aspect of it, you're not gonna be able to push that head over so far because it, it'll fall off and it will not fuse. So you do something more proximal, closer to the joint. And that's where the lap of, uh, the lap of fuse or the lapoplasty kind of surgery, a lapidus procedure is done. And pretty much what needs to be done at that point is that the cartilage is resected from this part, the cartilage is resected from that part, and a little tiny wedge is taken away so that when it falls over, it's now parallel with the second metatarsal. Not what we're talking about today. Today we're gonna to be talking about the distal metatarsal osteotomy, a osteotomy that's made through the neck of this bone so you could push the head over and we do it with a minimally invasive technique. In the past and with other surgeons, what ends up happening is they use an incision and they cut you wide open, they expose the bone to the air, and then they use a saw to make a cut called a chevron. What do I mean by chevron? You ever see like a, uh, uh, a cop or a guy in the military, he puts that uh, symbol on the side of his one, one stripe means private, two stripes means corporal, right? And there's sergeant. Those symbols are chevrons. The chevron is made with a cut in the bone that makes a V shape like this. And I'll put a graphic up so you see exactly what I'm talking about. With the minimally invasive procedure, what we do is we make a keyhole incision, a little tiny poke through it with a 15 blade, maybe less than a centimeter. And right here, we make the cut uh, right at the metatarsal through fluoroscopy, which is a live x-ray. With one foot, I'm put on the, uh, the x-ray. I'm looking up at a TV. I use this exact tool. This is the Burr. It's attached to the ProStep computer. And what the computer does is it, it, it's, it's detecting the torque that's going through this. So it knows when it's cutting bone, and it also knows when it's pulling up anything that shouldn't be getting cut, and it will instantly stop it to restrict it, your, the surgeon from hurting you. It makes it very simple, makes it very easy and safe. So a tiny poke hole, a keyhole incision is made in here. Start it up. Bone is pushed through, go through the edge, cut the chevron into the thing and then I push the metatarsal head over, and then I use a K-wire and a screw to fixate that, that osteotomy uh, in the, the corrected position. There's usually a shelf that's left over on the, on the side, and I use the burr, a burr, to shave off the extra edge that's on that shelf. That's done, and then, so that's two pokes that are made for that one screw and that one osteotomy. A lot of times we use, especially if the person's metatarsal is big enough, I like to use two screws because I want them to wait bear the same exact day. They can walk in, they can walk out of the hospital on a surgery that is ambulatory, meaning that they can, they, they, they're not staying overnight. People are concerned about whether they're gonna stay overnight. One of the main advantages of mean, uh, minimally invasive procedures is that when you don't have to split somebody's joint open in order to gain access to it, there's not gonna be any scar tissue uh, in that joint. So they have a lot less chance of having stiffness. So one of the best things about it post-operatively is I move the, their toe around and with the minimally invasive patients, there's no pain, there's no stiffness. They're able to return back to normal activity and it's a lot faster. There aren't a lot of studies that are gonna prove what I'm saying is true, that have a huge amount of power, 
But I'll tell you what, in my own anecdotal experience, I, uh, I'm getting great results with the minimally invasive procedure and I'm going to continue to doing that in the future. Unless the patient wants me to do it open, everybody, anybody can do it open. It takes a little bit of practice to do it with the minimally invasive procedure. While we're on the topic, the lapidus procedure, that's the one that involves resecting the cartilage from the base of the metatarsal and the cuneiform. When you do that, typically you still need a, a, either to remove the bump that's over here or you need a procedure called an aken. And the aken is an osteotomy that's made through the proximal phalanx. If the proximal phalanx, if, if after you've done your lapidus, and the, the bone is still pushed to the side, you're, still, you're gonna have to do the Aiken procedure and that will flop that toe back into place and you'll be able to put a screw or a staple there and that's gonna help make sure that that, that foot looks corrected and not you know, in a stable way. So the minimally invasive system that we use uh, with Wright Medical's Pro Step, uh, I like to do the Chevron osteotomy, I do the Aiken osteotomy, I do a lot of chylectomies, you could do a wild osteotomy, also known as a distal metaphyseal metatarsal osteotomy. You could do a calcaneal osteotomy, uh, and you could do a Taylor's bunion, a bunionette on the fifth toe uh, with keyhole incisions, great healing, very minimal s stiffness after the procedure. It's just the right way to do it. So just wanted to go through that with you guys. Minimally invasive surgery, right pro step is the right way to do it. Um, when it comes to the... Uh, lapidus procedure. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but my way is going to be the lapidus, and then I use a minimally invasive bumpectomy and a minimally invasive Aiken to make this happen. All right, guys, like and subscribe, and you remember every day is the best day of your life.